Jesus never said we must fight for life. In actual fact, he said, those that fight for life, they will lose their life. But if you lose your life for my sake, <laughs> he said, he actually said, everything you've given up for Christ will be returned to you, even in this life. But it's like the minute you fight for it, you're going to lose it. So many times we take scriptures and we become so confess it and possess it that that is actually not faith. Faith is not something you make. It's something you believe. Um, it's not something that you try and be. It's something that you be. <laughs> I know my Redeemer lives. <laughs> Job says, I know my Redeemer lives. And even if the, my, my flesh is eaten with worms, my flesh shall see the salvation of God. What? <laughs> I know. Faith is knowing. Faith is not trying. So now he says, fight the good fight. He didn't say fight the good fight of life. He said fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of knowing who you are. And then he says something. He says lay hold on life. What? So the minute you understand, it, it, this is where Paul was. He's not fighting for life, but whether he live or die. He says, well, God be glorified in my body whether I live or whether I die. Whether I live or die, it doesn't matter. Actual fact, he said, to die is gain. But to live is for your sake because time is precious. This is where we can get revelation through to people. And we've got to run our race and walk into the purposes of God. Not get so entangled in our jobs and our work and how to just eat and drink and sleep and go to work and eat and drink and sleep and go to work and never, never be satisfied. No. No, this is not what we called for. The minute you step into Christ, you step into a higher life. And this is a, a life of no fear. He says, I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. This is the fight of faith. We have to be changed and renewed in the spirits of our minds, not fight for life. We have to lay hold on life. <laughs>